Today we are going to stitch the pocket. So what you need now, the front of the trouser, two pieces was cut 12 by 12, there for the pocket. Ruler, chalk, measure tape, pins, scissors, tablecloth and iron. So I'm going to start with the pocket. I'm going to do the pocket. So I'm going to show you how you can cut first and then we'll stitch it. So I'm going to use, you have cut last week, 12 by 12, two pieces. So you first, you put that on first and then you take your front part, fold it. And this is the side. Oh, so the way the pocket will go, so you put it on top there. So make sure you open the pocket, don't fold it. Leave it open like that. You put your front part and make sure it's in a line. You can see it's all in a line. So you need a side pocket. So what you'll do, if you want to write here A to B, you can say two and a half inch. This is standard, yeah. And in angle, you go like angle, and you can put your hand like that, so it's going there. So we we'll mark seven, and then get a ruler. You join them. So after that, you are going to cut all four pieces. You can see two for the trouser and two for the pocket. And just follow it there. Okay, when you have done that, so you can see the front of the trouser. And these are two pockets, so one pocket so make sure the right side and right side of the pocket goes together like that. Yeah, and you can put pin. Okay, when you pin it, you are going to stitch half an inch. So from the line, from here, you'll mark half inch half inch, half inch, and you'll stop there. Don't follow this line, just stop there, and you can use a ruler to make a line. So you're going to machine this. So same way, you'll do the other pocket. So that's one pocket, and then is the other pocket. So same way, Make sure you put it on the top and angle. You can put pin. If you put pin, it's easy because otherwise it start moving and you can't get straight. So just there. Again, you will mark the line, how much you want. So from here to here, half inch. See, I'm holding the measure tape next to my cutting and mark there. Mark there and mark there. Get the ruler. That's how you are going to stitch it. Okay, after doing that, I'm going to show you how to machine. So I'll go on the machine. You are not catching the bottom material, only you are going to stitch where you have done the marking. So you put there, you can take the pin out. And make sure you catch, check the bottom and you are not catching anything. So you go straight like that. Okay, when you have done that, you'll turn the pocket this way and you are going to machine, that's called top stitch. So, you know the seam, you bring it towards the pocket. So that's your pocket, that's the trouser. So you bring the seam towards pocket like that and you'll stitch. 
see I'm pressing like that so it's straight so you will see how flat and nicely it sit so you are going to finish the bottom of the pocket take half an inch Okay, if you have got an uh, overlocker or a zigzag machine, you can do at the end. If you don't have it, then you can do it twice, so it's more stronger. Okay, when you've done it, you will turn and you will see the pocket on the right side here. Look. So you hold it there, straight here, and you will see the shape of the pocket there. There, and that's your pocket. Yeah. I'll show so you one thing, you will machine. can put the pin there on the top so it stays straight and here also make sure it's nicely you don't want to see the pocket and straight here so you're going to you can see the pocket is down there so you're going to machine to hold it So when you come here, you stop, turn, and then again you are going to take half inch seam all the way. So make sure you hold it nicely here, let it go down, and hold here. So you can see that's your pocket. Yeah. On the other side it will look like that, the wrong side. And right side is your pocket. So next step I'm going to show you how you join the other piece. And you can follow the same knot with other pocket. Both pocket is done, both side. Yeah. Now we are going to join the back. So you already done the back, you done the darts, you done the crush. Now we are going to join at the side. So this is the side. So you are going to take half an inch seam all the way down. Make sure it's all nice and tidy. Don't take nothing at the back. And just follow it. So your half inch, you know where is your foot of the machine? Leave a little bit and that's your half inch. So you don't have to mark it or you can mark with the chalk. If it's like that, little bit up and down, don't worry, you can trim it at the end. And you'll do the same thing with the other side. So you've done both sides one, you can see them. So it's look like that, and it's look like that. Now we are going to do the inside leg. So what you'll do, make sure your crutch meet both to 
together like that yeah and we'll start from the bottom of the leg all the way down half an inch So you've done pockets, you've done dots, seam it, inside leg and outside leg. So if you get trunks, you just iron them and leave it for next week. So we'll do the waist belt, cut the waist belt and ask you to get interfacing. You, if you don't have long one, if you've got short one, that's fine. So most of you have done that, you are going to iron it and keep it ready or you'll do it. Okay, those who don't have that, so you can cut two pieces of material and we'll work it on that one. So I'll see you next week. Thank you very much.